Welcome to the Quick Corner. I guess yesterday was June 1st, so I can't say welcome to June. Or shall I say? Yeah, maybe just better to say welcome to the Quick Corner in June. Whichever way, I'm really glad to have you here. June 1st was Global Day of Parents. And every day is Parents' Day, just like Father's Day and Mother's Day and Children's Day. But it's noteworthy to see the reason why such a day was declared. Let's talk some more about it in a bit. See you. intro I mentioned to us that yesterday June 1st was global day of parents global parents day well all those words are in the celebration so let's see why the UN deemed it necessary to call out a day for that It was actually designated by the General Assembly in 2012. Global Day of Parents provides an opportunity to appreciate all parents for their selfless commitment to children and their lifelong sacrifice toward nurturing this relationship. And the UN just believes that that is a day to be observed to honor parents annually. Very laudable idea, if you ask me. Even though I'm sure we all know that we should honor our parents every day of our lives if we want to have long and good lives. Yes, it goes without saying. But if you think about the sacrifices parents make, ooh, I look back and I'm just like, yeah, I wonder what my parents denied themselves just so that my siblings and I could have particular things. And mind you, it wasn't even as if they gave us everything we wanted, but they sure did their bit to give us everything we needed. Being a parent myself, I don't. Yeah, I mean, those of you who know me know that my children don't get everything they want. But with God's help, we give them what they need. Which is why I found that this quip that I'm going to share today is truly a nice fit, even if I say so myself. And it's from my second book, Quip 92, which says, as parents, no matter how tired you are, you can never retire and cannot be fired because you were not hired. Parenting is a lifelong responsibility, even when your children are adults. There are still sacrifices, which is why for those of us who are adults and our parents are still alive and well, I continue to beg us, please honor them, appreciate them. Before I talk more about that, I just thought to share the picture with you. You know, that's the picture here at the bottom. And I remember last week's video when I was talking about children, you know, not letting your children get in between you. 
for families where every time, you know, it's always the children, it's always the children. Just imagine these children not being here. See, there's such a gap between the husband and wife. Yes, you need to partner to protect the children, but that should not be the center of your marriage. But I still like this picture because it depicts something different. Just wanted to share that. Back to today's quick. There are times when you are correcting your children and you're just like, oh my God, I'm tired. No matter how tired you are, you can't retire. Yep. And no matter how many times your children disagree with you or dislike what you're saying, you can't be fired. So you best just do your part and keep being an excellent parent. In time to come, as I'm sure a lot of us adults have come to realize, you'll look back and thank God for the parenting. Your children should also be able to look back and be grateful for the kind of parent you were and still are. Saying that parenting is lifelong doesn't mean that we need to be meddlesome, okay? So yes, you pray for your children, you check on them, you expect them to call you. Now that's another day's conversation. But you expect them to call you and check on you as well. The point is, don't be meddlesome. But also, don't just say, well, you're an adult now, you go do what you want. No. So as we celebrate the Global Day of Parents, I salute every parent out there. I salute every uncle and aunt who has also helped parent people like me. And I say, more grace and more grace to your elbows. Thank you for all that you do, parents, because each day you're molding and unfolding our future, depending on how you raise the children in your home and in your sphere of influence. Thank you. Thanks again for joining me in the Quip Corner. It was nice to spend time with you talking about parenting. And I think that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much to talk about parenting. And in the couple of coming months, yeah, I'll be reading from my different books as the occasion were on. So, as I feel, well, you can be part of this, really. If you have one, two, or all three of my books so far, send me a message. I'd be happy to talk about a quip you suggest. Until we catch up again next week if not sooner take care of yourself and please be respective of your age if you still have parents honor them you'll be blessed for doing that and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> of course honoring your parents takes precedence but don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you click the bell you'll get notified each time a new video is published i look forward to reading your comments so take care bye now <laughs>